Hey everybody, my name is John from Community Life Church and this is Meals Ready to Eat from the Bible. Today's episode is God Always Keeps His Promises. We cannot, out, we cannot outrun God's plans. He will still pursue us even after we get things wrong. Now Abraham and his wife Sarai wanted a child. More than anything they wanted a child. Their desire for this goal got in their way of hearing and following God even though this was God's plan for them. But God prevailed in his eternal pursuit. And here's how it works out for them. Let's take a look at the scripture today. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 16, verses 1 and 2 and 12. It's up on the screen. Let me just read it for you. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, had borne him no children. And she had an Egyptian maid whose name was Hagar. So Sarai said to Abraham, Now behold, the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Please go into my maid. Perhaps I will obtain children through her. And Abram listened to the voice of his wife, Sarai. Then, of course, she had a child. And in verse 16, 12, we read this. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone. And everyone's hand will be against him. And he will live to the east of his brothers. Now, this is the custom of the time. It was the way for a couple to have an heir that could not have one otherwise. However, it was not condoned by the Jewish law, which God gave through Moses about four or five hundred years later. So you may think, so what? But this is important because many scholars, many secular scholars will say that these stories, the book of Genesis, were made up around 300 years before, the birth, before Jesus was born, at least 1400 years after the events we are reading about occurred. If this was written later, the people who were accused of this could not have known what the customs were at the time. In other words, the writers didn't know what the customs were you know, over a thousand years ago when they wrote this. There was no internet, no libraries containing the customs of long ago. They couldn't look it up in a book. But the fact that this occurred and is borne out in the archaeological record as a custom of the time just lends credence to the Bible. So this makes us comfortable with the biblical narrative of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as being a factual account of their lives. So what can we learn from this? What can we break down, break it down, and see what we, uh, what we can learn for our own lives from this? Well, first of all, Sarai had borne no children. She wanted children, and she knew that God wanted her to have children, but she wanted children on her terms and now and not on God's terms and his timing. She had an Egyptian maid. Sarah would use whatever and whomever she could to get what she wanted. Again, this is what God was, had planned for her, but she wanted it more than anything. In verse 5 and 6, we see that Sarah was angry and jealous of her maid, Hagar. Even though by the custom of the time this, was, this, this would be an heir for my husband, the child is not my child. In other words, she was jealous of when Hagar became pregnant, she became jealous of her and was angry with her and threw her out of the camp. The child, his name was Ishmael, would be an enemy of the descendants of Isaac. Isaac was the child they had naturally. His hand will be against everyone, and they would act and they would return this in kind. However, God provided for the life of Hagar and Ishmael. In verses 7 through 12, we can see God taking care of the pregnant Hagar. God did not punish Hagar for the sins of Sarai, and she was brought back into the camp of Abraham, where, she could, where the child could grow up and they could be taken care of. Many years later, we see that God was still, even after all this, pursuing Abraham. They had to wait a long time to have a natural child on their own, but God still pursued them. God still went after them. So whenever we get things wrong or try to do things our way, my way, we may think that God will have nothing to do with us. That is not true. Just look at the life of Abraham. This is what happened. Abraham, who God holds up to us as an example of faith and obedience, had a lot of bumps along the way, a lot of roadblocks, a lot of stone. He stumbled a lot. And we do too. But as long as we turn back to God in repentance, he accepts us and continues along the way with his plan for us. We cannot outrun God's plans, and no matter what we do wrong, if we turn back to him in faith, in repentance, he will pick up where he left off with his eternal plan and his eternal pursuit of us. We would really appreciate a like and subscribe. 
If you want to know more about Jesus and how to get to know him, how to follow him, how to live for him, check us out at clchurch.cc. That's clchurch.cc. We meet Sunday mornings, 1030. We have meetings during the week. We have devotionals on YouTube and Facebook during the week. And we also stream our services to YouTube and Facebook so you can watch us there. I hope to see you Sunday morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.